Hey everybody, ready for the thought for today? In church, we're studying the book of James, and today, in part, we read this, James 1, 13 through 15. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. And that reminded me of this scripture, and this is Hebrews 4.15, where it says, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. And of course, it's talking about Jesus. So point number one in the thought for today, it is your fault. It is your fault. Now, don't get me wrong. Actually, the thought for today, it is your fault. But that's the thought for today. Because we know if we turn to 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, 1 John 1, 9, it then says this. It says, if we confess our sins... He is faithful and just and will forgive our sins, forgive us our sins, and purify us from all unrighteousness. So the but is, he will forgive you. He will forgive you. Now, you might say, Alan, I'm not a Christian. This doesn't mean anything to me. There's a song by 6 a.m. I don't know if anybody in the band 6 a.m. is a Christian. But it's called Accidents Happen. It has to do with people, what I would call sinning, but people making mistakes, big mistakes even. And that somehow, even those big mistakes you think you put past you, you do it again. And part of the course is this. It's not your whole life. It's only one day. So it's not your whole life. What you just did is not your whole life. It's only one day. You haven't thrown everything away. You haven't thrown everything away point of it your sin does not have to define you if you fall ask for forgiveness get up and don't let it define you god will forgive you i love you i'll see you again tomorrow